want to bring up something I mentioned uh, back on the LED section uh, about cheating a little bit. On the greens and the blue, we have a 40 ohm resistor in line with those, and uh, those LEDs basically have a 3 volt across them when they're operating. So we're really only absorbing about 0.7 to, to maybe 1 volt, 1.2 volt across that resistor. Our red guy over here on the other hand, he's only got about 2 volts across him, and we use the same value resistor. So what that means is this leg of the versus the other three has a lot, little bit more current flowing through it and we're actually <clears throat> just a little bit above the rated dissipation of the LED um, but it kind of depends on what it's mounted to if we look at this case we got pretty big copper traces going on and the real key is we're on a big heat sink the next thing that's going to be critical for this is when do these blades get used they use it at night time Watch your average ambient, ambient temperature outside. Pretty cold, relative speaking, to electronics. You know, electronics, a lot of stuff operates, you know, 110 to 140 degrees average and, you know, can peak as high as, you know, getting close to the boiling point of water. Um, most designs don't operate that high, but, but they can. So heat is an issue. So I've got my thermometer and let's take a look at some of the things. So we can see the relative shop temp is 63 degrees let's look at the blue LED about 71 and this blade has been on for about 15 minutes now 72 on a green there's the other green now let's come back and look at this red substantially warmer actually if you Put your, actually your finger's not quite sensitive, at least not mine, they're too thick. Uh, but certainly put it up to your lips, you can feel the heat difference. So don't lick my blades, it's the same as kissing me. Um, but uh, we're kind of getting by, running a little more juice to the LED than what it normally would want. But the other thing to keep in mind too is most spec sheets are conservative. So, you know, it means you usually have a little bit of wiggle room to, to push things. So... Don't expect these to, you know, last 10,000 hours. You know, if you got a helicopter part that lasts 10,000 hours, then, uh, well, you must not be flying. So, enough said on that, but just be aware of it.